So we're gonna have a look at a simple drill that you can do in three stages that will really enhance your learning and make sure that your body becomes the engine that controls your pitch action exactly the same as we see the very best players in the world. So matching your arms and your body in pitching is such a massively important thing. I see loads of people struggle with distance control because they don't get their arms and body moving in a single unit. Get people making really sort of long back swings and decelerating, not using the body very well, and or they end up getting the arms too narrow or the arms in the follow through, instead of matching where the body is turned, the arms end up working too far across right here. This means that the arms are working way too fast relative to the body. So we're gonna have a look at something that's really gonna be simple. I've got a little gravity fit system here, but you don't need one of these to do it. You just have a simple TheraBand. This is just really easy, you can actually hit golf balls with it. But what you wanna do is create a big loop with sort of like a gym band, and then pop that over the shoulders here, because you're gonna do this in two stages, okay? This one's got a beep on it, which gives us a bit of a feedback. You'll probably hear that already. That that is designed for uh, helping making sure you've got sort of thoracic stability in your swing or in your training, but we're going to use this in a slightly different way here. So to start with, what we're going to do is from the top, of, from um, this position, I've got both arms out straight, okay, and then what I'm going to be trying to do is make get the feeling if as I turn back that I keep that tension. So this is the feeling I'm going to try and replicate when I'm going to hit shots. So I'll be going back, bringing those arms to a width there. Uh, and then through. So you can see here that as I turn, my arms follow me. As I make a shift and turn, the arms are always following my movement and my arms retain the width they've got. So I feel like if I maintain the tension I'm putting through the bands here, the aim is to replicate that. Then what I'm going to do is just as a feeling, I wouldn't hit shots with this because it'd be quite awkward, is just get that feeling of with the bands in place, okay, keeping that width. So I feel as I turn, Maintain that width here and on the way through and maintain it. So I get the feeling of the arms and the body working and the key's got to be that my body's got to turn. So taking it from a static drill to a drill then with the club. And then what we're going to lastly try and do is get a feeling of hitting a shot with this. So obviously take the band out of place and then get see if I can recreate that feeling. So the feeling for me then was turning maintaining that width and then just going to make sure I turn through. My image in my mind is like a Zach Johnson for pitching because I think he does an amazing job at keeping it nice and wide. Sometimes it can be great for a player to have a visual representation of what they're trying to achieve so that's just what I want to do here. So getting that feeling of turning back and turning through so it's just getting the body turned back keeping that width and then on the way through turning through and getting that, those arms wide on that way through, which gets everything coming back and through as a single unit. Really important that you make sure that the body is turning back and through and that you maintain that width. That is what's going to give you that consistent delivery. And like I said, the best players in the world do an amazing job at this. My thoughts, Zach Johnson, you might have a different one. Steve Strick is great at pitching as well. Get your own thought in place for what's going to work for you. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video guys. If there's anything else you'd like to see on something like a drill that you can start to apply that you've maybe all you've seen other players doing or there is you're struggling with, comment below let us know what you'd like to see. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Thanks for watching and talk to you again very soon.